Hundreds of people got a sneak peek inside the new Travis County Medical Examiner's Office today. It's the only time the public will be allowed to get a look inside the more than 52,000 square foot facility. And as KVU's Jenny Lee reports, it's also a day dozens of forensic specialists have been waiting for. It's an enormous, enormous difference. For forensic investigator Jennifer Kasiki, it will speed up the process significantly. Getting a new office is like Christmas. You get this room by yourself. I do. <laughs> she explains why it's such a big deal. Where we are right now, we have four desks, which means that we come to work, and sometimes if the last shift is still working on their cases, I don't have a workstation to work at. I might have to stand there for 30 or 45 minutes. Kasiki is one of 41 staff members who will soon move into the new Travis County Medical Examiner's Office under Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Keith Pinkert, who is also excited about his new office. It really is unbelievable. He gave us a partial tour. In our current facility, we have two autopsy stations, meaning two autopsies can take place at the same time, and that is sort of a logjam. Right, because you can't start new ones until those two are complete. This is our main room right here, and we have six stations. Plus three others for a total of nine autopsy stations. The two-story facility also includes a CT scan. There are only 10 of these in medical examiner's offices across North America, which could replace an autopsy. What it can do that the autopsy is more limited is, is a lot of the bony injuries, so skeletal fractures and injuries to the bone. The new facility also includes a larger morgue, bigger toxicology labs, a waiting room for law enforcement, even private waiting rooms for families. The new facility is three and a half times larger than the current facility. A whole lot easier, yes. Meantime, staffers like Kasiki are counting the hours until it's time to move in. Jenny Lee, KBU News. The new facility is located off of Springdale Road in East Austin. There is no set move-in date just yet. The current office will become the new County City Sobriety Center.